news from the region, and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Kelly Morgan Polson. And I'm Taylor Katz. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd, 2011. The results are in for who might be Tampa's next mayor. Tampa has narrowed it down to Rose Ferlita and Bob Buckhorn. Ferlita took the lead with 25% of the votes and Buckhorn took 23, beating three other candidates. The runoff election for mayor begins on March 22nd. Voters chose more than just the city's leaders on Tuesday. Melissa Gonzalez is in the newsroom with a plan to help businesses in Tampa. While at the polls on Tuesday, voters approved a referendum that would offer tax breaks on city property to businesses that move or expand to Tampa. The businesses would receive up to 100% property tax breaks and a tax break on tangible property investments. The breaks will last for up to 10 years and applies only to Tampa City taxes. Thanks, Melissa. Gun laws in Florida could soon change. Christina Carvelli has more on the story. Thanks, Taylor. Florida is one of seven states that requires you to conceal your weapon. If the proposed bill passes, registered firearms can be visible to the public. Put right here on your hip, right here on campus. A new bill in Florida, introduced by Senator Greg Evers, may allow the open carry of firearms in the state, including on university campuses. Even if the bill passes, people will still not be allowed to carry a gun into a police station, jail, government building, professional sporting event, or public school. University police have written to the Florida legislature pleading not to change the law. They fear it will make campuses more dangerous. Again, we, uh, we would just encourage the legislature to leave things as they are right now. Thanks, Christina. Just in time for those heading to Florida's Sugar White Beaches for spring vacation, University of South Florida researchers released a study saying visible evidence of the oil spill no longer remains. Ultraviolet lights revealed the only contamination left on the coast. And finally tonight, the doctor who let the cat out of the hat, Dr. Seuss, we remember for things such as that. The old, the young, the tall, the small will remember his 107th birthday celebration after all. Let all of us from Florida Focus say, have a wonderful Wednesday.